Tak to je to, To tell you the truth, like they, those two were kind of pillars um, that I walked between as my entrance into the the industry and what is now my passion. And um, for that, they really served as a blueprint for how I carry myself um, to my in my commitment on screen and to how I hold myself off screen. And also how I navigate, you know, my ambitions in terms of how famous I might want to be or how big I might want to be, which ultimately under the wing of Vigo and Eric Banner is much smaller than maybe a lot of other people um, um, fantasize about. Um, you know, I, I'm so happy just doing what I love, but at the same time, I love just being me and being grounded and coming back home to Australia and um, just kind of being under the radar like like Vigo. So I've I've taken a lot of those attributes and, and tried to apply them wisely. It was, it was an experience. Honestly, I really liked it um, because it had a positive domino effect on, I guess, the hostile nature that we needed, um, hostile environment that we needed for, for what we did. And I was saying before that, you know, with Peter and Phil, they, they do have this kind of on and off relationship where Yes, they're, they're trying to peel away layers of each other's vulnerability and there's this sense of impending doom with them both. Um, but at the same time, there's almost kind of like a romance and uh, a love brewing between them. So because we kind of subconsciously had that arc within our head, we had a lot more elasticity in terms of how we carried ourselves around each other. So I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Like we had a good laugh. Um, we had a good giggle in the times that that it was responsible to. Um, but yeah, other than that, it was cold, cold fill on set. Yeah, um, because it was something different and vampires are pretty cool. And I really love the script because it, it wasn't really about vampires. It's more about kids growing up. I, I don't only because uh, I really love the element of surprise and that goes for everything in my life for better or worse. Um, I really don't try to plan too far ahead. Um, but the reason why I, I stick to that um, is because it, it's just served me so well in terms of my, my career, um, the kind of escalating quick uh, progression that I, that I was blessed to experience in my earlier years and that, that continues on to today has all been has be, been because I kind of just stay present in the moment and I owe a great deal of my success to to the mind of innocence um, you know I still I still mature and I'm still a student of the world and I'm learning every single day but I I really try and bring you know the really good aspects and elements of the mind of innocence into how I function today um, which is things just like being in the moment, not thinking about too far ahead or to having too much ambition. Um, Cause I really just am a believer in the fact that, you know, the, the right things will come for you if you, if you have your head screwed on. Yeah. I feel like they're like little chapters. Like I, I've done this genre of like, you know, deep kind of uh, scary films. I've done vampire, post-apocalyptic and zombie. So done that I appreciate that and now I'm starting to do very different stuff like animation I I tend to kind of keep myself under the radar and almost out of the wraps of 
you know, the current state of our industry and, and people's status and things like that, I think it really does a great service for myself to be able to enter things with a fresh state of mind and also to not get too starstruck um, and see people as people. Really? Thank you. Hey, we hope to see him in the MCU, you know, world. I would love him.